Hello. Hello. That seemed kind of loud. I bumped my mic before, so it's kind of off kilter a little. But it's fine. We play with it. How we going? Just messing with some stream stuff. Just messing with stream settings at the moment.
Oh, I just realized I'm hearing myself. Oh, I just... I was like, why does the music sound like it's playing twice? That's why. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, I've just messed with some monetization settings. I'm trying to figure out how to increase our... <sighs> increase our reach when it comes to the channel. Um, and I'm kind of getting stuck on it in all honesty, so... Oh. Anyway, how are we doing? It's a nice, fine Sunday today. Um... It's not much on. I, I had about about a free hour. I finished my editing, finished uploading a new video, and I'm like, eh, what can we do? And I'm like, we can play Master Duel. So we're playing Master Duel. Um, that's about all there is to it. I don't know. I didn't have much on. Um, I could have done other things. I could have just vibed, but I was like, nah. Let's do a quick little stream. So we're doing a very quick little stream. Like, a very, very quick little stream. Uh, just because, why not? Uh, it's good. It keeps us out. There once was a man named Gold Roger who was king of the pirates. Hi, Jaden. Hey, Jaden, let me know, uh, did you get an ad when you started the, the stream? Because if so, I want to know. Because I'm trying to mess with my ad settings. Um, What is this hand? Not bad, I don't think, is what it is. So what can we do here? I'm pretty sure we just set two pass. If the opponent ever lets me, you know, play. Is that the four kids version? Okay, we gotta play you again now. Yeah, there's no point cuckoo clocking because it's only if you control a labyrinth monster. And we don't control a labyrinth monster at the moment. So, uh. Pop off, King. I don't wanna play the One Piece TCG. Nah, that's a joke. Hey, you left early yesterday, but they gave me these. It's. Like a little 10 pack of sleeves for the, the Dom deck. Oh. Zexal Construction, I'm sorry, what? Um, uh, no, that's fine. If anything, we keep waiting, then we just Durham a cannon at a choke point. I just realized this is the Sakazuki leader. I didn't realize I pulled that. Um, fine. Where are my sleeves? Oh, there they are, they're on the floor. <sighs> no, it's fine. I don't think they have an effect that pops back row here. I should really be reading instead of doing this, but... I haven't sleeved some of the things I got yesterday, some of the important things. Actually, I want to double sleeve these. I'll double sleeve them. Uh, do I? I think I know where those those are. just a mess right now. 
What's the Zia Simon Sage? Yeah, so what? We're searching double or nothing here. They're just trying to Utopia to me with a blank board. Oh, these aren't Yu-Gi-Oh sized. Oh, sorry, these aren't. Ah, they just went all over me. I thought these were like regular sized, but they seem small. But they're not Yu-Gi-Oh sized, are they? What's a Yu-Gi-Oh card? How do I not have a Yu-Gi-Oh card? There we go. There's a creepo. Oh no, these are Yu-Gi-Oh sized. Where are the non-Yu-Gi-Oh sized ones? So we're searching double or nothing here. And then summoning Utopia. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, I should- why haven't I max seed? So I didn't pay attention to the actual stuff. Yeah, max seed would've been really good here. Do that in a minute. I'm being getting distracted. What is this card? Utopic Dragnair. Topic Ray. Do we Dharma Cannon here? Nah, I'm not scared. Because I don't think you could rank this up in anything, can you? Yeah? Please waste your resources. Yep, go ahead. We just go battle flays, we flip the Dharma cannon here. We're just putting everything on it. Look what he needs to make a fraction of our power. Okay, cool. Now we Dharma cannon. Huh? That was weird. First of all, I also just realized we don't have the... Our dual settings are horrible. Um... How do I set the toggle? Switch and hold? I think it's switch. Yeah, cool. Yeah, cool, now I can switch it. Um, okay. Know what I was expecting. Uh, Imperm's not a great draw. Okay, yeah, we really should have maxied. We would have got so much value here. I don't know why they didn't do battle phase. I'm really confused by that. Um... The 3,000 defense on this is kind of awkward, but I think we can just play with it anyway, so we'll Dharma a cannon. Yep. Pull 
the materials fall off. Yeah, so we can summon Lady. Then we activate Big. Activate Lady's effect, we're gonna get a set here. What do we set? Does D Barry just out the board? Ah, oh, no, Linda Gates effects. So let me think here. We set welcome. Uh, I'm, too, I'm too slow with this. Guess what we do? We set IDP. IDP outs the board. But IDP outs the board and the clap back, which is even better. So big, we summon. Lovely. We bounce back the lady. Rip card out of the hand. Oh, it's opponent's hand or their field. Okay, well, they could have. That, that was kind of dumb of me. It's fine, though. Okay, we activate the lovely here. Uh, we'll reset the big welcome. Actually, no, we reset the Dharma Cannon. It's better value. Got a battle. Attack into Dragonic Ray Boy. Main two. Initial back row. I'm very out of practice with Master Duel, so that's why I'm so slow. Yeah, I don't know what my double sleeves are, so I'm just going to single sleeve these One Piece very pretty cards I pulled. Put these up here. Look at those. How beautiful are these? You find a special spot for them. They just go to end phase again. Does Dharma count on locks them? No, why can't they just flip it back up? Player's bad. Okay, we'll just activate the effect of the big welcome in the grave here to banish it to get rid of their monster. We use the effect of the lady to summon itself out as well. Just puts up a bunch of presents. Okay, the effect of the lovely. Uh, destroy, nope, we're gonna destroy a card in the field. Let's destroy the first set. It was a imperm. No, we don't have lethal, unfortunately. Torvi. Torvi seems pretty good here. We have to get rid of the Cuckoo Clock with it. Because we want to keep the maxi in case we can't win this turn. We just set a welcome to get more advantage, yeah.
Oh, we just win here with IDP, because IDP is a you can. So we don't even need to use the pop. Yeah, so we just IDP and then we summon back, yep. Bada boom. That's how we do. Level up. Let's do another one. Oh, you get special sleeves. I really just want the gems, I'm not gonna lie. You gotta go really far to get the gems, though. I wanna summon more for, um... Let's summon. Wrong game. I wanna pull more for some zoo cards. Because I'm just coping at the moment on that. Is this binder back to front? No, it's just a bit weird. I got a new binder off Amazon for Black Friday sales, so... I'm gonna try to utilize it. Let's put our One Piece cards in here. There ain't no way I'm leaving these lying around. We gotta put them in a binder. Okay. What is this hand? Um... Interesting, I guess, is what you'd call it. We just set three pass here. Hmm. Real interesting hand. The Dharma Cannons are gonna have good value here. These are gonna go hard. The big welcomes problem is we'll have to put whatever we put, uh, add back into our hand, which is a rough part of the... The combo here. We'll probably put back, we could probably use this and Lady Lab. Cyber Dragons. Of course it's Cyber Dragons. Uh, yeah, we'll just Ash Blossom it. Because what, they can use the effect to discard one, add it back, but like, eh, I'm not, I'm just scared of that. Oh, actually, it doesn't even work. Like it's, it's the activation of this card, but Ash negates effect. Yeah, so you can't even use Cyber Emergency to Ash Blossom. Hello. Look, you're allowed- on Hey, no. You're allowed on stream today. It's my cat. This is Link. It'd be good, though. He's rarely allowed in here, because I do- It's weird. I've had him for- How long have I had you now? Three years? Yeah, over three years. Um... Okay, well, yeah, well, big welcome here. I've had him for three years now, and, like, I, I used to really struggle badly with... Maxi, fine, get a, get a free one draw. I used to struggle really badly with allergies, um, which I still do, kinda. But it's for that reason I just leave this room set as my own space. So whatever I add is getting put straight back into my hand, so... See, if I add Lady, it puts it back, and then I can summon it back next turn. But I also think we want to add Ari we want to summon Ariana here, and then put Ariana straight back. Because then we can just normal the Ariana next turn, and we get really good value. Because what, we can normal this, we can add Torvi, discard Torvi and Dharma Cannon, get a big welcome. The Ash Blossom's not a bad draw, in all honesty. Yeah, hey, what's up? You want to get right up in the stream camera. No, hi. I love you too. You good? Don't mess with the stream equipment. You having fun? Okay, you're getting a bit too close to it. No, no, no. You're around cables and cards now. That's a no no. Sorry, bro. <sighs> get the cat, get the cat. Where's my cursor gone? There it is. Yes, it's only the last thing you're trying to card in the foot of hand. We don't want to do that yet. So we had Torvi here.
Yeah, Torvi is the best value here. Okay, activate Torvi. Pitch it with the Dharma Cannon. Uh, we could set up Welcome Labyrinth. Uh, we just, we'll go to battle here, because there's a chance we could just beat over whatever that is. I don't think the Cyber Dragons really have much defense points. Yeah, we want to save the big welcome, because using the big, yeah, I didn't think so. Using the big welcome, we can actually add, like, a really powerful, like, Cyber Phoenix or something. Not a Cyber Phoenix, like a big Cyber Dragon boy. Okay, and we'll end phase here. Hold on, Branded Fusion? Okay. Easiest Ash Blossom in my life. So I was looking at Link. Um, okay, Sidra here. Do I welcome yet? I don't think we welcome yet. What are we getting off welcome? Um, probably the lady. Yeah, we should welcome, actually. Oh, we definitely welcome now. Maxi. Eh, I'm not scared of that. So we get up here. Lovely. Yeah, lovely. So lovely here gets me a rip potentially. Is Cyber Dragon once per turn. Cyber Dragon's not. So if I put it back, they can just summon it again. I feel like we're gonna lose the Ariana here. Cause if we just we could Dara a cannon if they replay. No, they're not even replaying. Okay. Well, that's fine by me. That actually gets us out of a bit of a pickle there. Don't know why they didn't replay. Raigeki. That's a bit unfortunate. Yeah, nothing we can do to that. That's just gonna get off. So IDP is pretty powerful, because I just realized that it's talking about your opponent, especially when you feel, but it's effects negate. Then you can. 
banish one monster from both players' fields at the same time. So you can literally just, like, reborn something big. I was about to say, draw has to be important here, and that's definitely a pretty good one. See, this is the problem. So, how does welcome? So, the monster leaves the field by a normal trap effect with this card's graveyard. You can set this card. Mm, yeah, that's the problem. So, we would have to IDP out the Cyber Dragon, and then we can set the welcome lab. That seems pretty value. And then if they play something, we have the chance to use Thrust here to get talent. So, it has to be same type. Yeah, so we just get a machine. Banish a card, yep. And then we banish them both. Yep, so we can Torvi here. We can work a lab here. Set welcome lab. Torvi in defense. Oh, I could do that. I don't think that's worth it, though. What's live and grave? Ah, oh, Bill Gogan's effect. Yeah, because I have... Oh, so you have to have a level later hire a fiend to trigger that. Okay, that's good to realize before it's too late. I was really hoping they would do something there, like maxi. Um, but unfortunately not. Do we hold on the thrust? Yeah, we hold on to the thrust here. Because we do that. We get a big welcome. But that doesn't really get us any value. Oh, it does it, actually. Yeah, we do it. It's the same thing, effectively. Because I realize we can welcome, and then we can big welcome. Ah, uh, big welcome. I almost picked the wrong one. Yeah, we said big welcome. Yeah, because we can welcome to get a card for that. We can big welcome so we have something to bounce back. Yep, yep, that's good value. Yeah, I like that play. Okay. Okay, we'll welcome here and draw. Summon Lady here. Why can't I Torby? Oh, it has to leave the field. That alters my plan a little. Does it? Actually, no, this is fine. Just got storm. Okay, what are you picking? Spell a trap. Yeah, that's obvious. Okay, the Dharma Cannon we're losing is fine, but we need to big welcome here. So whatever we're setting is going to get popped straight away off this. So we want to set something that is, like, good for recursion. Yeah, setting a welcome is good. Do we just summon back the lovely from grave here? We do, don't we? Yeah, this is really good because then we can bounce the lady and then the lady can be resummoned herself. And 
And now we can use Lovely. We can use Torby. Uh, we can summon this anytime, so there's really no point getting out there now. Also, we're running low on increment timer. I would destroy a card in the hand because I'm not I'm not afraid of the set card. Fallen of Albaz, that's a very good card to hit. Okay, uh, I'll switch to Chain Auto. Yeah, we got it. Whoa, what was that sound? I actually don't know what application made that sound. Was that Discord? That might be Discord. No, no new Discord message. I don't know what the notification sound was. What time is it? Uh, I don't have much time left. Let's claim these rewards. It looks to be a lot of gems there. 450. That's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. Oh wait, do we have... We finished the proficiency test? I remember to keep checking in on this. No, because we've only normal summoned once. I guess we're playing the wrong deck for normal summons, to be fair. Uh, I'm just tired of Mastel. I don't play anymore. <laughs> that's, that's literally it. My brain's just like, nah, we're, we're bored of this. Let's shut it off. Uh, let's open Duel Links, though, because I need to log into that. <sighs> Konami Mike, how nice of me. Hold up. Are they releasing an alt art of Rhoda that's a Sky Striker? Oh my god! <laughs> art is sick though, but that's weird.
What are we getting here? Bug rock. Already have these cards. Uh, do, the, the gifts don't matter. I really don't like the like. I don't understand what I'm meant to use these skill coins for. Because they take, don't they take? They take some other resource. That just frustrates me. Okay, yeah. So there's a new box. Oh, there's a new pickup box coming. Oh, there's two new pickup boxes coming. I like the pickup box idea if it wasn't for the fact that they're only temporary, which I think is really dumb. But, like, none of these are good archetypes at the moment, are they? Oh, they're rebalancing some skills. What skills? Explosion Drive, Shining Superstar Draw. Neither of those are good. Or neither is there anything I know about. Oh, was there a new ban list? Eh, nothing that affects me. What skills are being rebalanced for speed? Oh, clearing. So no! No! Don't! Don't! Stop killing my odd eyes! Oh my god! I, I hate Konami and fucking Pendulum shit. Okay, so what have they what have they changed to clear wing? Each of the flags only be used once per tool, that's the same. If you don't normal skills per tool, normal skills per tool, win, that's the same. Dragon type, so you can do extra skill, that's the same. If you control clear with secret dragon, play one, speed of red dice from your deck of graveyard to your field, that's the same. Oh, they're buffing it back! So they're putting it back to the way it was before. So... Notably, it used to it used to be so it was send one speed or red dice for a single monster to deck to bed. If you send a single monster grave, play a clear wing and you have it to your field, they monster can attack. Then they change to return one card from the hand to your deck to send it. But now they're just going back to before. Okay, well we're just on team Yugo. Fuck you, ya. Yuya Sagaku. Chronomaly don't play, empty machine don't play. Yeah, what are, what are they doing in my fucking panel? Okay, the beginning dual penalty zones to your field, that's the same. So it can only be used once per duel by revealing one Odd Eyes Rage Dragon, Odd Eyes Dark Rebellion, a uh, Dark Rebellion Axie from your extra deck if you have two. Hold on. And if, sorry, if, for an extra, something looks different. What looks different? The Pendulum Zone. Oh, what? They just removed the add effect. So it used to be add one of the three eligible perform power monsters with different names from outside deck to your hand at random, and add one as Pendulum Dragon or Magician Pendulum Monster from hand of deck to the extra deck. So they've changed it to removing that, so just add the uh, Pendulum Dragon or Magician to your extra deck. Drew still, you could treat Xyz monster to control as level 7 monsters like some of Okay, that's not so bad. It's a little bad because the whole thing with the combo is you get an extra rank, an extra level 4. To be able to go into your rank fours to make Rebellion Dragon. Um, and that's gone now. That said though, uh, yeah, we just... Alito. Ah, Rhapsody and Berserk's coming as a free-to-play card. Yeah, that said though, uh, yeah, we we on the... We 100% just on... I can't speak words. <laughs> We're 100% just on Yugo for speed at the moment. So yeah, what? Oh, okay. Well, they released Ferocious Flame Swordsman, which is good for when I want to get it with a deck ticket. Master of Blades. Witchcrafter, Infernobles. Oh, the Ancient Warrior archetype. Amazements. This box seems really bad, does it not? I just feel it's bad. Who do I know? I don't, I don't, I'm not a dual link, dual, I'm not a linker. I hate how long it takes to do anything in dual links. So you get told this new box, you get told the tour guide's ending. Um, this woman wants to talk to me about something. And then we get another thing telling us that there is an event for Wave Duel open as well. I 
Okay, here's, here's the only thing I care about for the Wave Duel event. What are the accessories? Ah, uh, well, they're not here. Ends in two days! Spiritual Entanglement, Claim Cerberus. I hear the best. Yo, I need it! Oh my god, it's my boys! Oh my god, it's my team! Okay, never mind, we need this. Okay, complete Arc 5 round challenge, complete the seventh wave challenge. Let's do this. I think I clicked PvP. No, I didn't. Let's do the free draw. So we can't just switch to them, can we? Ooh, that's a cool Alito in them. Yeah, let's just jump into it. You know, speed duel with you. Do you want to set the following character? I don't want to play as Taya. Just speed. Who was I leveling up last time? It wasn't Jaden. Was it you say? I believe in my cards. Good for you. I don't know, man. Let's just go to Arc Fire. Oh no, that's right, it was Soul Banner. Okay. Wave, dude! Well, this is doing that. I'm just gonna quickly put some stuff in my binder. Cards aren't in here, so I'm trying to remember where it is that I want to put in my binder. Oh, here they are. This is what I was looking for. The, not these cards. These little sleeves. I'm gonna be honest, I actually don't think I care that much about the playmats. I think I was just bored and trying to find out what to keep streaming with. So we're actually gonna end here. Because I'm gonna go do some other things with my day. Um, we'll be back on Tuesday, Tuesday morning probably. I don't know what we're gonna be doing, but we're doing something of some kind. Anyway, that's gonna do it. Let's go to the stream and the scream and call it the day. Bye, people.